Grand plans to move from coal plants to clean energy involve what's called transition credits. With these plants forming the single largest source of emissions, the world is depending on this shift to slow down rising temperatures. Rachel Ting explains how such credits help to make a business case for Asia to move away from coal and the challenges that stand in the way. Coal plants typically operate for 40 to 50 years, but this one in the Philippines that started in 2015 may retire earlier. We gave ourselves the optionality, not the, not the commitment or obligation, but the optionality to bring the retirement of the coal plant 10 years earlier or by 2030, 10 years ahead of what is already a, a, uh, an aggressive uh, retirement date uh, for a coal plant. Doing so may kill jobs and forgo millions in revenue, but it's charting a path for a bigger gold mine and a greener future. For every year that the coal plant stays shut without producing emissions, it could earn almost 2 million carbon credits that it can then sell off. These are called transition credits. Their value is not fixed, but each credit could potentially fetch up to a few hundred Singapore dollars. The plant is one of two pilots Singapore is working with in the Philippines, and the nation could become one of the first to buy these credits. So about one-third or 207 gigawatts of operating and developing coal plants across 15 Asian markets are going to be eligible for credit generation. This represents an estimated one gigaton of annual emissions reductions, equivalent to, say, taking 200 million cars off the road annually. But the journey will not be easy. Coal plants in Asia are young, and nearly 7 million people depend on them for their livelihoods. Given the realities in Asia, we can't quite sit in our ivory towels and flip a switch and say let's move away from coal in an instant. There is a responsibility, a collective responsibility, to map out a considered and orderly coal to clean transition. This includes ensuring workers are properly reskilled and channeled to clean energy plants. The most important uh, enabler for transition credits is still standards, especially for those uh, plants that uh, are going to uh, put the end of life to their coal fire operations. I, I think uh, we, we need to know that these are actually taking place. He adds that public and private capital needs to be pulled to facilitate these credits. Rachel Ting, CNA, Belang, Brazil.